Look, have mercy on me, have mercy on my soul. Don't let my heart turn cold. Have mercy on me, have mercy on my soul. Don't let my heart turn cold. Have mercy on me, man. What up, guys? It's your boy Josh Neeks, and I'm back for another video. And today, I got another top eight list. My first top eight list was the shoes I won featuring my gym shoes. So make sure y'all go see that and come back to this one. So today I got the top eight Nike Dunks of 2020 so far. So that being said, let's get into the video. Before we get into the list, I have some honorable mentions. I have three honorable mentions. So the first honorable mention is the Nike Dunk Low Sashiko. Personally, I don't like the shoe. I don't like the denim. I don't like any shoe that has featured denim. Uh, but there is a lot of hype surrounding this shoe. So I put it in as an honorable mention. The shoe has a retail price of 110 bucks, And they're currently reselling for $397. I would suggest that you guys cop them now. Because sneaker game. Sneakers go up or sneakers go down. Personally I think the sneaker would go up in time. So I suggest you guys cop me them now. And yes I have my papers. I have my information. So, I ain't tricking y'all. So, let's move on to the next honorable mention. The next honorable mention is the Nike Dunk Low Pro Safaris. This retail is at $100 and is currently reselling for $409. Keep in mind that this shoe, I mean this list, is based off of my size, size 10. So, if you're a size 13 or size 8, it might be a couple hundred or something dollars, hundred or fifty dollars difference in prices. This was an honorable mention because I don't really like that orange mixed with that camel. It's kind of a camel, it's kind of not. I also have my laptop over here, which has even more information. So, yeah. The last honorable mention we have is the Nike Dunk Low Brazil. This was a very hard decision to put as an honorable mention. It was either this or the number eight spot. But I think the number eight is just slightly better. But there's nothing wrong with this Nike Dunk Low Brazil. Features the colors of the Brazilian flag. Green, red, I said red. Green, yellow, and white. Simple shoe. This shoe has a retail price of $100. However, this shoe is retailing for a hefty $1,200, bro. These did release in May. And as I said, the shoes will slowly be increasing. So... I actually don't know. I don't. I would say they're probably even gonna go higher than this. So if you have the money, search copying them now. So that's all for the honorable mentions. So let's get into the top eight. So at number eight, we actually have two shoes. However, these two shoes are actually like a pack. They're not really a pack, but the, whenever you talk about one, you always have to talk about the other. And the number eight, we have the Nike. What? We have the Nike Dunk Low. Kentucky and the Nike Dunk Low Syracuse. While I'm speaking about the shoes, I will be putting pictures up so you guys see what they look like. And there is also a lot of hype off of these two shoes. And personally, I love the Kentucky because, as you guys know, my favorite color is blue. So I obviously like the Kentuckys. And the shoe, both shoes are simple. It's like one, two colors blue and white, orange and white. Nothing wrong with that. This shoe does retail for a hundred. Well, both shoes do retail for a hundred bucks. However, the Kentucky are reselling for five forty nine, and the Syracuse are reselling for five fifty. Keep in mind, size ten. There's no a dollar difference, but I will personally, if I have the opportunity, I'll personally get the Kentucky over the Syracuse because I prefer that. So let's move on to number seven. At number seven, we have a very Weird shoe. Weird and I don't know why I put it on the list shoe. So and <laughs> number seven we got the Nike SB Dunk High 420 Reverse Skunk. And I know all y'all sneakerheads are about to come at me, but the shoe is fire. The purple, the green is just it's two shades of purple. I'll put a picture of you guys see. And it is fire. However, the price, the resale value is also fire. So, with that being said, 
these shoes did release in April of with a release price retail price of 140 bucks. However, the resale price is ten thousand dollars. And I, yes, I know you guys would be like, why did you put a ten thousand dollar shoe? Well, this is not a budget video. This is just the top eight shoes of 2020 so far. So I really could have put like the a five million dollar shoe on here, but and if you decide to pay ten thousand for these shoes. I don't know what to say. You could literally get like four Honda Civics for the price of this shoe. But I'm just saying. If I have the chance of buying these, I would not buy them. I would not spend $10,000 on a shoe. If I have like an extra $10,000 and have everything in life I want, sure. But other than that, no. I would suggest if you have the money, you cop them. Because these shoes are pretty limited and they'll go up even higher. Probably like close to fifteen or 20000 So never know moving on to number six we have the nike dunk low samba that's a cool name samba but these shoes are releasing august 21st at 10 a.m so make sure y'all try and get that dub i will be trying for this shoe so the shoe retails for a hundred bucks and right now resale is going for about a thousand dollars but keep in mind this is about one week, one weekish away from resale date, re release day, so the fright, the price might go up or down. Might go down a little, but then after everybody took their L's on sneakers, it's gonna go back up. I really like how the shoe features three colors: the gray, white, no, not white, red and blue. It's similar to the Captain America flag, which is, I said flag, which is similar to the Captain America shield. Pretty valid. There's nothing much to say about this shoe. It's releasing August 21st, so make sure y'all wake up early and try and get them. So, move on to number five. At number five, we got a shoe that I took an L on. Well, this, this, number five is basically three different shoes, but they're all one under one category. And that shoe is, that those shoes are, the Grateful Dead times Nike SB Dunk Lows. So if you guys know, there was a green, yellow, and orange release. I did not try for the green. Well, no. The green and orange, I think they only released in skate shops. I believe so. However, the yellow shoe did release skate, skate shops and Nike sneakers app. And there was a draw for it. And I got an L. You already know. Your boy took an L on the shoes. But it's I. I got the off-white so and if you guys haven't seen that I do have a review so make sure you gotta go watch that I personally like that lightning it's not lightning it's like that jagged swoosh look and I really like how the shoe has fur on it I don't know why but I like how the shoe has fur on it if you manage to have all three of these shoes I give you an applaud the Grateful Dead in the green colorway Retails for 110 bucks. However, they are currently reselling for $1,500. The yellow colorway retail 110, similar. The resale is a little bit lower at $1,100. And for the orange pair, the limited, the most limited shoe out of the set, also released at 110 bucks. However, they are currently going for 3,500 bucks. I would say. Cop the orange pair if you have the chance. If you have the chance to get any one, any of the three colors, cop the orange pair. Highest chance of moving up. At number four, we have the Strange Love Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. And I really like these shoes. I like the red and pink. Gives it a nice contrast. These shoes did release on Valentine's Day, so for all my heartbroken people, and you got an L, that must have sucked. I got an L. I didn't even try for these, so I, I was good. These did retail for a hundred bucks, and I'm currently reselling for twelve hundred dollars. That's not a bad price for these. So I would also suggest if you have the chance of copying these, you cop them now. These, there were two releases kind of. There was a one with a regular box, and there was a one with a special box. Obviously, the special box costs more. But I would suggest just getting the regular pair because if you want to resell them, suggest getting the re retail pair, regular pair, 
But if you want to keep them and you have the extra money, might as well get a special box to show off the box. We're here into the top three. And personally, these are my favorite out of the list. And these top three. And obviously, you gotta know there gotta be some hype behind them. So, at number three, we got the Ni Travis Scott Nike SB Dunk Low. Come on now. Travis Scott, all his shoes are fire. His sixes, his ones, fours. I forgot his shoes for a second. The 720s and the Dunk. Come on. With this shoe, you can peel off the material and it reveals another shoe. Not another shoe, like a different color. That is pretty cool, not gonna lie. I really like how the shoe has a bunch of different materials on it and it just comes together so well. And the laces are like really thick. That shouldn't be a good thing, but for me, I like it. I like the laces thick. Hey yo. <laughs> but let's move on. So at number two, we got a Nike SB Dunk Low. Blue Fury. This shoe looks like I forgot what it was called, but it looks like um like a snow cone. The color of blue is like the snow cone you get. It's a nice blue. I really like it. And these shoes are not going for that much. These did retail for a hundred bucks, and they're currently reselling for two sixty one. So that's not that bad. That's probably the cheapest shoe on this list right now. One second. Yeah, that is the cheapest shoe on this list. So if you need a Somewhat cheap dunk go for the number two spot. I Would I'm actually thinking of copying these because I would expect these to be way higher, but they're only 261. So that's not bad Now let's move on to the last and final shoe and personally my favorite and the best on this list And I hope one day of copying them At number one, we got the chunky donkey right, Let me stop. We got the chunky donkey Dunks, chunky donkey dunk. Say that ten times five. Chunky donkey dunk, chunky donkey dunk, chunky donkey dunk. Oh shit! Hi. So this shoe is fantastic, bro. Ice cream and shoes. Name something better than that. I really like how the shoe has that like cow print. Is it kind of like a cow print, or I don't know if they're mim mim mimicking cookies and cream ice cream? It looks like cow print, not cow. It looks like a cow because cows are white and black. But it also has the cookies and cream, which is also white and black. So that's a nice touch. And it also has that yellow swish, which gives you even better looks. The shoe is currently reselling for $1,680. $1,680. Retail price was 100 bucks. I would suggest if you have the chance, you cop them now, because you already know they're about to increase. But these shoes do come in two different releases, basically similar to their Strange Loves. They come in a special box and a regular box. Well, the box is like an ice cream container. It comes in a Ben and Jerry's ice cream container, a special box. <coughs> Again, similar to the Strange Loves. If you want to pay to keep and you have the extra money, so just going for the special box. However, if you want to pay to resell, just go for the regular box. So that's it for the list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all smash that like button and hit that notification bell. We're on the road to 200 subs. It's been your boy, Josh Sneaks. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, Josh Sneaks, and I'm out.